Numbers chapter 26. After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest, Take a census of the whole congregation of the Israelites, from twenty years old and upward, by their ancestral houses, everyone in Israel able to go to war. Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan, opposite Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people, from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses. The Israelites who came out of the land of Egypt were Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the descendants of Reuben, of Hanok, the clan of the Hanachites, of Paulu, the clan of the Paulites, of Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the clan of the Carmites. These are the clans of the Reubenites. The number of those enrolled was 43,730. And the descendants of Palu, Eliab. The descendants of Eliab, Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are the same Dathan and Abiram chosen from the congregation who rebelled against Moses and Aaron in the company of Korah when they rebelled against the Lord. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up along with Korah when that company died, when the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a warning. Notwithstanding, the sons of Korah did not die. The descendants of Simeon, by their clans, of Nemuel, the clan of the Nemuelites, of Jamin, the clan of the Jaminites, of Jashin, the clan of the Jashinites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites, of Shaul, the clan of the Shaulites. These are the clans of Simeon, 22,200. The children of Gad by their clans, of Zephon, the clan of the Zephonites, of Haggi, the clan of the Haggiites, of Shuni, the clan of the Shunites, of Onzi, the clan of the Onzites, of Eri, the clan of the Arites, of Arod, the clan of the Arodites, of Arli, the clan of the Arliites. These are the clans of the Gadites. The number of those enrolled was 40,500. The sons of Judah, Ur and Onan. Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. The descendants of Judah by their clans were of Shelah, the clan of the Shelanites, of Perez, the clan of the Perizzites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerites. The descendants of Perez were Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Hamuel, the clan of the Hamulites. These are the clans of Judah. The number of those enrolled was 76,500. The descendants of Issachar by their clans, of Tola, the clan of the Tolites, of Puva, the clan of the Punites, of Jashub, the clan of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the clan of the Shimronites, these are the clans of Issachar, 64,300 enrolled. The descendants of Zebulun by their clans, of Sered, the clan of the Seredites, of Elon, the clan of the Elonites, of Jehiel, the clan of the Jehilelites. These are the clans of the Zebulunites. These are the clans of the Zebulunites. The number of those enrolled was 60,500. The sons of Joseph by their clans, Manasseh and Ephraim. The descendants of Manasseh, of Machir, the clan of the Machirites, and Machir was the father of Gilead. Gilead, the clan of the Gileadites. These are the descendants of Gilead. Of Ezer, the clan of the Ezerites, of Helek, the clan of the Helekites, and of Azrael, the clan of the Azraelites, and of Shechem, the clan of the Shechemites and of Shemida, the clan of the Shemidites, and of Hepher, the clan of the Hepherites. Now, Zelophenhad, son of Hepher, had no sons but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelephor he had were Mahla, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. These are the clans of Manasseh. The number of those enrolled was 52,700. These are the descendants of Ephraim according to their clans, of Chuletha, 
the clan of the Shulephites, of Besha, the clan of the Becherites, of Tahan, the clan of the Tahanites. These are the descendants of Shuletha, of Ezran, the clan of the Aaronites. These are the clan of the Ephraimites. The number of those who were enrolled was 32,500. These are the descendants of Joseph by their clans. The descendants of Benjamin by their clans. Bela, the clan of the Belaites. Of Ashbel, the clan of the Ashbelites. Of Ahiram, the clan of the Ahiramites. Of Shephuham, the clan of the Shephuhamites. Of Hufham, the clan of the Hufanhamites. And the sons of Bela were Ad and Naaman. Of Ad, the clan of the Ardites. Of Naaman, the clan of the Naamites. These are the descendants of Benjamin by their clans. The number of those enrolled was 45,600. These are the descendants of Dan by their clans. Of Shuham, the clan of the Shuhamites. These are the clans of Dan by their clans. All the clans of the Shuhamites, 64,400 enrolled. The descendants of Asher by their families. Of Imna, the clan of the Imnites. Of Ishvi, the clan of the Ishvites. Of Beriah, the clan of the Berites, of the descendants of Beriah, of Heba, the clan of the Heberites, of Malchiel, the clan of the Malchielites, and the name of the daughter of Asher was Sira. These are the clans of the Asherites. The number of those enrolled was 53,400. The descendants of Naphtali by their clans, of Jazil, the clan of the Jazilites, of Guni, the clan of the Gunites, of Jezer, the clan of the Jezerites, of Shilem, the clan of the Shilemites. These are the Naphtalites by their clans. The number of those enrolled was 45,400. This was the number of Israelites enrolled, 601,730. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, to these the land shall be apportioned for an inheritance according to the number of names. To a large tribe you shall give a large inheritance, and to a small tribe you shall give a small inheritance. Every tribe shall be given its inheritance according to its enrollment. But the land shall be apportioned by lot. According to the names of their ancestral tribes they shall inherit. Their inheritance shall be apportioned according to a lot between the larger and the smaller. This is the enrollment of the Levites by their clans. Of Gershon, the clan of the Gershonites. Of Kohath, the clan of the Kohathites. Of Merari, the clan of the Merarites. These are the clans of Levi. The clans of the Libanites. The clan of the Hebronites. The clan of the Mahalites. The clan of the Mushites. The clan of the Korahites. Now Kotha was father of Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Jehokabed, daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt. And she bore to Amram, Aaron, Moses, and their sister Miriam. To Aaron were born Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithmar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they offered unholy fire before the Lord. The number of those enrolled was 23,000, every male one month old and upward. For they were not enrolled among the Israelites, because there was no allotment given to them among the Israelites. These were those enrolled by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who enrolled the Israelites in the plains of Moab by the Jordan opposite Jericho. Among these there was not one of those enrolled by Moses and Aaron the priest, who had enrolled the Israelites in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said to them, They shall die in the wilderness. Not one of them was left except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun. Numbers chapter 27. Then the daughters of Zelophehad came forward. Zelophehad was son of Hepher, son of Gilead, son of Micha, son of Manasseh, son of Joseph, a member of the Manassite clans. The names of his daughters were Mahla, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. They stood before Moses, 
Eliezer the priest, the leaders, and all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And they said, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died for his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from his clan because he had no sons? Give us a possession among our father's brothers. Moses brought their case before the Lord, and the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, The daughters of Zelophehad are right in what they are saying. You shall indeed let them possess an inheritance among their father's brothers, and pass their inheritance of their father unto them. You shall also say to the Israelites, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall pass his inheritance on to his daughter. If he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. If his father has no brothers, then you can give his inheritance to the nearest kinsman of his clan, and he shall possess it. It shall be for the Israelite to statutes and ordinance, as the Lord commanded Moses. The Lord said to Moses, Go up this mountain of the Abarim range, and see the land that I have given to the Israelites. When you have seen it, you shall be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was, because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin when the congregation quarreled with me. You did not show my holiness before their eyes at the waters. These are the waters of Meribath Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint someone over the congregation, who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, so that the congregation of the Lord may not be like sheep without a shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hands upon him. Have him stand before Eleazar the priest and all the congregation, and commission him in their sight. You shall give him some of your authority, so that all the congregation of the Israelites may obey. But he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the decision of the Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the Israelites with him, the whole congregation. So Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and had him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole congregation. He laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord had directed through Moses. Take care. God bless. I'll see you next time.